This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is by far the best made low security lock that I've ever encountered. It's an easy lock brand deadbolt that I've put in a demo block, and anyone with experience picking dimple locks probably won't have too much trouble opening it up. That said, it does have a couple of really nice features, and the build quality is off the charts. I've never seen anything like it, even in locks five times the price. Now, the most noteworthy feature is that you don't need a key to lock this from the outside. After all, the name is Easy Lock. You just turn that knob. If you're concerned about a passerby locking it, you can disable that function by flipping that switch on the inside. Then it no longer works. And interestingly, if you flip that same switch while the deadbolt is extended, you can no longer use the key to open it from the outside. Essentially, it's a built-in night latch. So, let's assume this is not latched from the inside and see what it takes to pick it open. Then I'll take it apart and show you what impressed me so much about the build quality. I'm going to use this Z-bar as a turning tool and a multi-pick dimple flag. Click out of one might have gotten something on two. Click out of three. Click out of four. Nothing on five or six. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one. Click out of two. Nice one. Nothing on three, four, five. Six is binding. Click there. And we got this open. Okay, let's take this apart. We start by removing three screws that are around the bezel on the inside. That allows us to remove the thumb turn assembly from the inside. And notably, this thing spins very freely and that's because there's actually a ball bearing inside. Let's take this apart a little bit more and I'll show you. Now at this point, I should note that all of the castings in here are not as you would expect a cheap zinc alloy. These are all stainless steel castings, which are considerably more expensive. And here we go. After going through one, two, three, four stainless steel castings, we have the first of the ball bearings inside of this. Now we can start removing the rest of the lock from the door. That's done by taking two more screws out. This backer plate is made out of a nice thick stainless steel. And notably, all throughout this lock, there are little arrows that say up and down that make it really hard to install this incorrectly. Nice little touches. Okay, three more screws to take apart the exterior housing. Once again, we have a stainless steel casting, another ball bearing, and two more stainless steel castings on the inside here. Let's keep taking this apart. see the spring that holds the knob at the 12 o'clock position. And the third ball bearing, this one actually slips into this recess on the outside. 
And finally, we get to the last part, which is the core. Now, one thing I would love to see with this lock is a standard key and knob cylinder. Unfortunately, I can't replace this cylinder with something a little bit higher security. But overall, the build quality of this lock is unlike anything I have ever seen before. So that's all I have for you today on this Easy Lock Deadbolt. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.